Okay, well, hello there. Um, I'm going to try and do a bit of a, a tutorial video here, which is a new thing for me, and so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. But you should be able to see all around me uh, my computer screen at the moment, and if I go to my video that I want to edit, I've got it on here marked as basic equipment which is one of my broom videos if I double click that to open it which you can do exactly the same with any of your videos and then to make it easier to to see I'll just shrink it down from the corner a little bit and put it in the middle of the screen now if I decided I want to do some editing on this if I go up to the button where it says file click on file move along to edit and come down you have all these options of things you can do and if I click on trim I, it opens up a bottom window in yellow and I can move either end to make the video shorter at each end so if I leave the back end as long as it wants to be but I decide that in the first part of, of the video if I play it for you you'll see the beginning you'll see it's actually a pot if I decide I don't want that pot in the video I get hold of this handle at the beginning and slide it along until the pot is out of screen. I've just got the pot away and now I've got the kettle. And you'll see the first part of the video at the bottom on that bar is greyed out now and the only bit in the yellow is the bit that I'm going to keep. So if I click on trim what it does is it takes out the first part of my video so if I now play the video it plays from the kettle not from where the pot was I can stop that now if I decide I don't like what I've done I can either go back up to edit and click undo trim or you can do what it says there which is command Z and that will go back one step for what you've done. I'll click undo trim and that has now put back my pot at the beginning of the video. You can move this bottom bar along to see anywhere that you are in the video. If I want to do other sorts of editing I can go up to edit and come down to one of these other choices and do other things with them. If I want to, let's have a look, what else can I do? If I go down to redo trim, I can actually put back the trim that I'd taken off in the first place. Now I may have forgotten to tell you right at the beginning that this video is open in the QuickTime player. And if I close this video, first thing it does, of course, is ask me if I want to keep this trip. And if I want to keep this, this trimmed, edited video, I can save it. If I, and it tells me there where I can save it to. I can change them things and save it anywhere. But desktop's always the best place because that way the desktop, is you know where that is. I can delete it, but either way around, it doesn't have any effect on the original video. So you don't have to worry about doing damage to your original video. If I save it as untitled, it will save the video. And you'll see up here, I have the untitled movie that it has kept, which is the one that I've changed. Now, if I decide I don't like it, if I right click on it and say move to bin, I've now got rid of that 
but my original one is still over here. That is how you make it originally work. You'll notice though, if you don't have QuickTime Player showing, if you right click on your video, it says open with QuickTime Player, or it gives you other choices. If QuickTime Player is not at the top, then there is a way of making that the default, or you can just click on QuickTime Player and it will open the video as I did in the first place. Any questions? Happy to help.